We have Asus N82J with the, I suppose that something was spilled on it and uh, we can't really make map of errors map of bad buttons because uh, when we are pushing some of them they are giving wrong, wrong codes Even now, on the stage of the visual inspection, of the visual diagnosis, you could see clearly the reds, re rests of water and oxidation in this zone. I have some bad news for you, as you see, even with heat gun, it's impossible to unstick this type of keyboards without damaging, and uh, it's heavy damaged, a lot, a lot of rods are damaged here. Last time it was HP keyboard and now it's Asus keyboard. So if you have Asus, don't even try to repair it. It's a bad idea. I think that uh, these rods in Asus keyboards are more thinner or are made from other conductive glue than the HP ones. So I will not try to repair it. Another thing that confirms my decision is that uh, here are some complex rotten rods. As you see, this upper rod is good one, and the lower ones that are underneath are damaged. So. It's almost impossible to repair that rods that are situated that are under this one. Anyway, I want to try this new type of conductive glue from China to see if if it's good one and to show to show you to compare it with the, that uh, Russian conductive glue contact all also I I want to show you my idea about solution of such complex damage I will make here two rods of the same length to make this test statistically precise There is no manual for this glue, so we wait 24 hours before it will dry out and only then we can verify resistance. Also, as promised, I want to test the solution for the intersection of the road for the crossing roads. For example here, let's suppose that we should restore a road that is below. We will apply two-sided adhesive on this intersection
and now, and now we can draw a new one. One day had passed, our rods from conductive glue are dry now and we can check the resistance. Three point four ohms and something about eight ohms but here it's messed up because I've touched it with the finger while it was liquid so everything is fine so from the first application resistance is good and now our bridge construction Four or five ohms. That is good too. So if you have corrosion of the rods on the intersection, on the crossings, you can use my method to fix it. Put a piece of two-sided adhesive on the crossing. After that, you can draw with conductive glue on it. So by doing this you have some kind of sandwich that, that will separate your rod with conductive glue from the other one. Also what can I say? In this case, in battle of China versus Russia, China wins. Because as you remember from the previous videos, I used uh, Russian conductive glue contact all to restore keyboard uh, rods and it took uh, two layers it took two layers of this uh, glue to bring all resistance values to the needed state but here in this case with the Chinese unknown random stuff it works better it has no brand I suppose but but it works just perfect and uh, about what about costs this one uh, is something about three bucks and this one the same so for the same price chinese conductive glue is far better also it's it's supplied with uh, such syringe so it's more easier to apply thanks for watching subscribe to my channel